My name is Kofi Echampo. I'm 40 years old. And I'm a taxi driver in Accra. And my father used to also be a taxi driver. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, keeps on inspiring me as a taxi driver. Through my wife, um, I got to work in airport. It makes me feel good. Ghana's economy is growing rapidly, and so too is its aviation industry. Actually, air traffic is growing a whole lot faster than its airports can handle. A massive increase in passenger and freight transportation led to the expansion of the new Kotoka International Airport, as well as expansion of the country's regional airports. As the African skies become more crowded, the region's airport infrastructure must also play catch-up. Our work is very tough, very stressful, because you can have so many aeroplanes in the airspace. You have to be able to recover every information on your feet and think on your feet. You, you need to be tough. So we run shift, we come in the night, leaving our, our families at home. Terminal 2 has a capacity of 2.5 million passengers, and we easily crossed that line two, three years ago. Terminal 3 is a modern terminal with all the modern facilities, with a capacity of 5 million passengers per annum. Traveling through this new terminal building will be very easy for passengers, and um, it should attract as many airlines as possible. We expect Terminal 3 to be the game changer for this country. The aviation sector is critical for regional integration and for the benefit of 350 million people across West Africa. It impacts numerous sectors, including trade, industry, agriculture, and tourism. The African Development Bank support of Ghana's airport expansion is part of a strategy to promote development through regional integration. African Development Bank provided us $120 million towards the construction of this terminal. It makes the African Development Bank the single largest contributor to the construction of our Terminal 3. It shows their commitment to infrastructure development in Africa. There's no better partner than the African Development Bank. This is a bank that was set up for Africa to help Africa in this infrastructure development. There's a total departure from what we had previously. This is a new terminal. It's, it's being built from scratch. I think the domestic market is growing, and then also the international market is growing, because um, now currently at Kotoka International Airport, you can get four or five options to travel to Europe every day. Kotoka's expansion has had a direct impact on employment. More than 7,000 jobs were created during the construction of Terminal 3. 280 trained professionals ensure that operations run smoothly. Terminal 3 has come to ease so much pressure on us and then the turnaround of aeroplanes and then operations of staff has also reduced a lot. So the time factor is really of a great importance. My children seem so excited, but always tell me, Mommy, it's so difficult. You don't have time for us. You don't have this. But yet, they get excited because they, need, they get to tell their friends, Oh, my mommy is going to control your flight. One of the major benefits of the Kotoka airport expansion is its multiply effect on the economy. Increased airport traffic has created thousands of direct and indirect jobs and created wealth opportunities for many. Among them, taxi driver Kofi Achampong. Terminal 3 is a good investment, especially for our business here. It will take pressure off the departure side and then the arrival side of the international we're using here. I'm just hoping to catch um, the last passenger and then um, I'll go home to meet my wife and kids. I miss them anyway, since the morning I got out for work. The energy I'm, I'm, I'm exerting now in my, my work and everything, I want to invest in them. Uh, when you go home, they jump around you, daddy, daddy. It's a good feeling. 
Sehr gut, Philipp.